Welcome to the jungle. What's up everybody? I'm Ray. Thanks for tuning back into Horticulture Geek today and welcome to my jungle. Um, as some of you know, we recently went to um, vacation. I posted some videos of some places we visited while we were gone. Had a great time. But we were gone from the house for almost two weeks. And then we had some other stuff come up. So it's been like three weeks since I've really had the chance to work in the garden. Um, I've, it's been kept watered, but it has exploded. We had some rain come through a week or two ago, um, and I haven't been pulling weeds. So I'm just gonna show you the garden. It is a hot mess, and then I'm gonna work through cleaning it up. But let's do a garden tour and I'll show you where we're at before we get started cleaning it up. So here we go, let me flip the camera around. All right, we're just gonna start right here. Weeds, I've got weeds I've gotta pull up. Um, my strawberry planter is infested with ants. I discovered that yesterday. So I've gotta get in here and treat for these ants. The strawberries are looking pitiful. So I gotta clean them up, a good grooming, a good prune back kill the ants, fertilize, get these to bounce back. This little area, leaf debris. I'm, I'm normally good about keeping this swept up, but it's just been so dang hot. So we've got to get all that cleaned up. Um, some selective pruning on this hydrangea cause he's, he's grown since we planted him in, uh, but he's kind of mm, looking a little awkward to me. So I may do a little selective pruning on that guy. Over here in this area, the filter needs to be cleaned out on the little fish pond. The water flow is hardly nothing at this moment. And it's supposed to be pouring out of there like a waterfall. Leaves that need to be cleaned up. Here's a pile of leaves here that need to be cleaned up. They mow the grass a little bit. Cabbage that died that needs to come out. Another scraggly cabbage that needs to come out. Um, some of these trumpet vines need to be pruned. They're beautiful, but they're hanging low and in the way. So like this one needs to be pruned. That one needs to be pruned. So all this needs to be pruned up and cleaned up out of the way. The patio is a hot mess. So this is real life guys. You're seeing reality here. So I've got to sweep and clean and rake and get all this cleaned up. Uh, this canna lily has the little trimming that it needs. Look at that limelight hydrangea back there. How pretty is that? So he's looking good. And there's another lace cap there. And this is another limelight. Another canna lily in this pot that needs a little grooming. The Rose of Sharon is sending off rogue branches. So I got to get that cleaned up. I mean, you can see a lot of this litter. Now in a previous video, I said, I don't really like my Rose of Sharon. It's a big tree. It provides a good shade, but goodness, it is messy. So, um, here is the cucumber vines. They are going nuts. I did just water it. I've been at work all day, so it wilted on me a little bit today. Um, Ooh, sorry. My shrimp plant is doing great. The cucumbers are growing all through this burning bush, which needs to be pruned, but I won't be able to prune it down until the cucumbers are done because they're using it as a trellis and I'm okay with that. Um, so some of these vines on the concrete, I'm going to have to pick up and I'm gonna to try to get them back up into the burning bush and into the flower bed and off the concrete. This zucchini plant, um, has got squash bugs in it, so I've got to get hit rid of him. He's not producing, and he's slowly withering away. Um, and this zucchini actually shaded out this blueberry, so this blueberry is looking terrible. This pot is looking sort of okay. This marigold grew a little wonky, and there's a stray branch, so just a little cleanup, or I may just leave him alone. Um, this elephant ear 
is shooting rogue branches out everywhere. So some selective pruning is needed there. This zucchini completely died. The, the squash bug got him, so I gotta clean that pot out. These three pots here um, are being completely overcrowded by the tithonia. So by the way, let's look at this tithonia because it's a Mexican sunflower. It is huge, like absolutely huge. It grew so tall. Listen here, let me look. How pretty is that though? So it's just covered in the top with those beautiful flowers. It looks really good, uh, but I've got to get these pots that were underneath pulled out and put somewhere else. Um, let's twirl around here. This urn with the purple fountain grass um, got caught in the wind and fell over and my urn cracked. You can kind of see down in there. So I've got to find him a new home where he's not so susceptible to the wind. We had a big wind come through today and blew all these leaves in, so I gotta clean those out. It's just never ending. The red twig dog, the yeah, the red twig dogwood tree has some pruning that it needs. And you know, you don't really want to prune in the full heat of the summer, but when you have rogue branches coming out into your walkways and stuff and that are shading out other plants, it's fine. Go in there and just snip, snip them out, get them out of the way. The echinacea bed is looking really good right here. The salvia is looking phenomenal that I back planted right here with the echinacea. I love this combo with this pink and the blue. And there's even a red down here with the blue. I, I love it. I think it looks really good. We've got this. I think this is wild persimmon maybe i'm not sure it's completely invasive in this area it comes up everywhere so i've got a lot of that to pull out of these beds that's a basket to keep the rabbit from eating that plant day lilies have got to be cleaned up so these are where the flower heads were and this is classic of a day lily they will harden off that stem, you just have to come through and pull them out so that the plant can be done with it. So I've got to do that. Huge cluster of weeds have got to be pulled out there. This is my grapevine hyacinth or hyacinth bean. Um, so three weeks of it growing in the summer has gone nuts. So all of these vines I've got to pick up and train across the arbor so that they will be where I need them to be and not be growing out loose and wild everywhere. My sweet autumn clematis is growing completely over this wall pot, so it's gotta be pruned out. More weeds here. The geranium's gotta be deadheaded and cleaned up. So, I mean, it's just, you can see, we've got a lot of projects here. I oh, know this is fun, look at this. So my three sisters garden is down there in this big raised bed down there. Corn, squash with pumpkins and beans. This one squash has climbed up this retention wall through under this chair, through my pallet bar, up the back of the sweet autumn clematis and is emerging right here and starting to grow through down this way. So I've got to get that under control before I have big jack-o'-lanterns trying to grow in the middle of my sweet autumn clematis. So just some light cleanup, some deadheading that needs to be done here and there. This lamb's ear needs to be cleaned up. This needs a, big, a good grooming. All the brown dead leaves got to be pulled out. Just a general cleanup on that. Weeds, weeds, more weeds. The gladiolas have bloomed. There's the one fixing to, but most of these gladiolas have bloomed. They need to be pruned up, cleaned up. Weeds, weeds. Rosemary, more lamb's ear. Rubecchia, um, 
This is not a black-eyed Susan, it's a brown-eyed variety. You can see there's some weeds growing up into it. My butterfly bush, there's some weeds growing up down there. Huge clump of weeds here. I mean, just weeds taking over this patch. Um, this pot's looking good with the marigolds and the milkweed and the purple verbena. I've got, I'm assuming a watermelon. This is a volunteer. We'll see what happens. Maybe a cantaloupe, I, I'm not sure. My zinnias are looking outstanding. I'm really enjoying these. And they're looking really good with the Chinese tricolor spinach from Baker Creek. That's getting really big, but it's still doing good. Um, here's my Clemson spineless okra, um, which I need to come out here and pick. There are okra stalks ready to go all in here. So it's doing really good. This is growing really good. I'm enjoying this, the way the sedum and the green onion and the purple heart is just all growing together there. I just, that's so pretty to me, I love that. Gotta clean the porch up a little bit. My fountain got an algae bloom in it, so I had to put some algae side in the fountain, so I did get that done. My hydrangea got so heavy that it flopped over and that stake is not good enough, so I've gotta stake this up and get it back upright. The wheelbarrow of impatience is looking really good, but you can barely see it. So I've got to come in here and selectively take out some of these elephant ear branches and get that kind of cleaned up a little bit. I've yet to prune down the lemon balm. So I've got to get that lemon balm whacked down. It'll grow back. Here's some more zinnias going crazy. Rosemary, a zucchini that's still hanging on. Um, the rosemary, I think, was a huge blessing to this zucchini. The squash bugs, I don't think, smelled the zucchini because the rosemary smells so strong. It really smells good. All right, here's one of my tomatoes, which has some cleanup that needs to occur. There's some tomatoes ready to pick. This tomato, y'all, I know, I just used this I know they call these tomato cages at the store. These are really more appropriate for peppers, um, but it's what I had at the time. So I've got to get out here and pick this tomato up and get it kind of tied up to the fence to support him. This basil has got to be pruned out. It's getting way too big. The Tabasco pepper, and it is getting Tabasco peppers on it. So they are starting to shoot up everywhere in there. So I'm looking forward to that. My mammoth sunflower is so big that it's not supporting itself. Look at the size of that thing. And it is just absolutely loaded with sunflower seeds in there. So I'm letting him do his thing. Bell peppers that need to be picked. Um, I had something burrow into my raised bed, so I've got a tunnel there that I've got to fill in. The nasturtiums are ready to be pulled out. They gotta come out. Those little onions, they didn't do too good. They gotta come out. Bell pepper, lipstick pepper, jalapenos, ready to pick. More jalapenos, another zucchini that's still hanging on and doing really well. My big mountain of pole beans, I gotta get in there and search for some beans. I'm sure there's some in here ready to pick if we if I hunt good enough to find them. Um, and this whole bed is due for a fertilization. So I've got to get some vegetable fertilizer and get everything in here a good feeding so it will keep performing for me. My grapevine has some branches that need to be pruned up and trained to dealt with that. These pots in front of the potting shed the sweet potato vine is going crazy and starting to choke out my dianthus pots and my asparagus fern pots. So I've got to come in here and selectively prune some of these out and pick some of them up and move them around and clean out from in front of the doorway there.
we'll go get a closer shot of the three sisters garden back here. So you can see one pumpkin going. It's doing its thing. There's that vine crawled up this retaining wall and up through there again. There's another view of that. This is moonflower. So I've planted a moonflower here. Um, I'm hoping that it'll start blooming at some point. We'll see. Um, and this is really sad. I noticed this the other day. We had a garden visitor come in and open up and eat every single piece of corn out of here. So there's no corn left, just stalks, but that's okay. Um, I'm upset that we didn't get to have any corn, but we will save these stalks, let them grow all summer long. Um, and then we'll cut them down and use them on the front porch at Halloween and for fall. So we'll, when we do the fall decorating out front, we will use these for that. So we're letting them go. That's a good thing to do with those so that, that it's not a complete loss. And more pumpkins straggling out through here or watermelons one. I've got both planted through here. So we'll see. This is a Carolina Jasmine and it is absolutely taking over this corner, <laughs> which I'm okay. There's actually a bottle tree hidden in here under this stuff somewhere there's a bottle <laughs> so there was a bottle tree so you can see there's the frame the jasmine took it over and i let it have it all right mm -hmm. So that's kind of the quick tour of where the garden sets right now. Um, there's still a lot of pretty things here. There's still a lot of produce coming on the crops. Um, it just needs a good old cleanup. So you see now why I said welcome to the jungle uh, because it is kind of out of control back here. Um, and let me walk over this way and I'll show you the big cobalt blue pots that we did at this early spring on either side of the drive all right so you can see here's the big pot here with the plum tree all of the white petunias that i had in those did not make it um while we were on vacation they all died something got them and i think probably a little lack of water on those but that's okay um, the marigolds are still kicking and the plum tree is still fine. And then here's the other pot on this side and it has one petunia left in it, but it's marigolds are still doing fine. So no sign of plums on the plum tree yet. I'm a little bummed about that, but we've still got time. Maybe we'll get something later on this summer or into the fall. Um, I am planning on giving these another good dose of fertilizer while I fertilize everything else. So let's go back here in the garden. The air conditioner is running as fast as it can to cool the house down. So I think what I'm gonna let this do is this kind of be a part one, uh, welcome to the jungle, the tour. Um, and then I'm gonna proceed on cleaning up and I'll set the camera up and film that but you'll have to stay tuned for part two um, where I'll go through and clean this place up. But for now, I think that is gonna wrap it up for today. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Join us on our journey. I would love to have you come along. You never know what we're gonna get up to. And hey, if you've watched it through this video, you're gonna wanna stick around and see part two of this so you can see what actually happens when the garden gets cleaned up. Um, give us that thumbs up if you liked this video. Leave some comments below. I know I went through the garden tour fairly quickly just because, you know, it's, it's a mess. And it's kind of embarrassing to show off your dirty laundry per se. Uh, but I went through it pretty quick. So if you saw something out there that you're like, hey, what's this, Ray? What do you want to tell me more about this plant or that plant? 
shoot that in the comments below. I'll get back to you. I'll answer your questions as best I can. But until next time, guys, from my garden to yours, I wish you all the best and happy gardening.